When creating a UV map, you may want to control where you're initially placing the UV map, the, the geometry on the UV map, when you first create it. So what I thought we could do is I'm going to just come over to the Create Text, and I'm going to type out uh, Light Wave. Okay, and we're going we're gonna to UV map this. Okay, so let me go over to the top view, UV Texture. Okay, now, if I just use the default settings and come over to T for Textured UV, New, and we'll call this LW001, Planar, um, Linear, and we'll map it in the Z, and we'll do Automatic, and hit Create. You'll see that it's changed the proportion of my geometry. Okay, that's, um, that's not really what I want it to look like. It's, it's now stretched. So I'm just going to undo that, come over here, and let's see if we change our settings from automatic to manual. And what I'm going to do is, instead of it changing, the, changing in the X and the Y, I'm just going to say, I want this to be 5 by 5, and hit Create. And now, I didn't have it warp it's not changed it's not the the proportions aren't changed so I might not want to have it um, uh, you know stretch the entire map of of okay this is 0 to 1 and 0 to 1 and maybe I don't want to fill up the entire UV map with the geometry that I just created so by changing from automatic which would want to fill up the entire map um, I chose manual and I was able to change I can change where it's placed right now I've got 0 0 0 in the XYZ I can change the size as well now there's another way to do it while keeping automatic and so I thought we could take a look at that and then I think we'll have enough options to work with when creating our UV map. So I'm going to go ahead and set that to automatic. Actually, I'm just going to close this down for right now. We, we don't need to worry about the UV map for right now. Okay, so say I was ready to start UV mapping. Well, what I'm going to do is just draw, holding down control, I'm going to draw out a box. I'm going to get rid of those extra segments using the arrow key. Okay, and let's just say I put it right here. Okay. Now, what I can do is use this box as a template for where I'm going to place the logo. So I'm going to just size this down to say something like this. Okay. Now, with that, with the template box right there, I'm going to treat that as my UV map, and I'm going to say this is where I want the. Well, I'm going to move this down. Let's just say we want to move the. Uh, we want it to the. Actually, if I want to keep my logo centered, then there's no reason to move it because I can just move this. Okay, And I'm going to say this is where I want it sitting on the UV map. So I'm going to go over to UV Texture, T for Textured UV, New. We'll call this LW001. Down the Z, we'll do Automatic, and we'll Create. And as you can see, I already knew exactly where it was going to be placed, and once I'm done, I just select this, hit delete, and I'm good to go. The proportions didn't change. I placed it exactly where I wanted it without guesswork, uh, without having to figure out my U and V values, uh, you know, to figure out where I want to place it, and we're good to go. So you've got a couple options there. You can manually change the settings in the uh, when you're creating the UV map, or you can just draw a flat box. Didn't take very long. Draw a, 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 just a square representing the UV grid. Place the square uh, where you need it so that your geometry is where it's going to be when it ends up on the UV map and you're good to go.